The first is for Holly, and I guess it was the schools really interested in the ballot bins. Um, and they want they had loads of questions, but the kind of key was, do you know, you know, do you sell them or do you know of anything similar that schools could use? Because they love the idea of running the kind of ballot bins in their school. Um, I, I, I'm going to guess this, the, the big ones, not the cigarette ones. Um, yes, yeah, so the big ones they want, yeah, the big, the big bins, yes. Um, so uh, we, we, sell, we sell the smoking ones and we only launched the big ballot bins kind of end, summer to end of last year and they were, a, they were a, a trial prototype and we got such good sort of feedback from like how they looked, how they worked, um, that we are putting them into kind of a testing phase where we're trying to see manufacture them at scale. So we're not selling them yet, but as a charity, we do sell the original yellow cigarette ballot bins um, and we use the profits made from genera generated from selling those ballot bins to feed back into our charity to try out more um, kind of novel interventions to see what else works. So when we do eventually get around to uh, making more of those bins, the, the big ones, um, that will also feed into our charity. But I, uh, yeah, they're not on sale at the moment. Um, as for something that could work as well, um, you could always, I think that the reason why both the ballot bin and the big ballot bin was so, are so successful is because they have that automatic feedback of you can see where the voting is at with the cigarettes you can see kind of where the heights are and you know that you're voting for one side and other people will see it and with the big ballot bin you've got the numbers that are counting because we've got sensors in the bin that kind of track how many hands enter and put litter in so you can see the numbers and judge it it's obviously like quite high tech uh and i think if you didn't have that available and you had sort of two bins side by side, the, the key to making sure engagement was there would be at least regular feedback of where the voting stands. So if you could do, um, like, I don't know, ask the, the, the uh, caretaking team to weigh the bags at the end of the day and tally up the weights so people can kind of see how the, the bags are being weighed and, and what's getting more litter in. I think having, having a way to see how people are voting is key to engagement if people can't see it then it, it is just a black hole and and there's no kind of like immediate feedback that makes people want to take part thank you yeah and I, there's lots in the chat about the weighing idea being a good one um okay there's a couple more questions so where did eden tree get funding from to deliver the big swim campaign can they find funding for other campaigns so the big swim, um, we we obviously have um, we work with Alice, so the partnership was was already there. But in terms of the funding for the for the grant that we gave the Black Swimming Association, I mentioned before that our company is charity owned by a our parent company is called the Benefit Group, and actually they do they have a um, they have a campaign called the Movement for Good, and we are one of the largest charity corporate charity donors. So they constantly have um, grants that you can nominate charities for to um, for funding. So we have big grants that we give every year and then we have smaller grants. Um, so I'd really recommend having a look on the Movement for Good or the Benefact um, website. Um, they are, as I said, we're the biggest corporate donor. So that's that's kind of where we got the funding from that that 40,000 that we were able to give. Um, to the big the Black Swimming Association. Um, the Black Swimming Association is also one of our um, kind of our main charities that we give to at the moment. So um, that was obviously you know led into how we were able to kind of create that around around them. Hopefully that answers Thank the question. You. So yeah, it was from our um, our charity um, ownership. Just two quick questions for Jeff on. So on, you talked about doing a lot of videos on social media. Yeah. Do you have any advice or either to both of you about what length of video you think is best um, if you're using a video? Yeah, definitely. So social media and and um, you don't really want anything longer than 20 to 30 seconds. Um, 
this is kind of the optimum. I would say 20 seconds is optimum for social media, no more than about 30. Sometimes if you're on something like LinkedIn, you can get away with it being a little bit longer. But generally, that's the kind of the optimum sort of length of time that I would say for any sort of social media video. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, for those that can't see in the chat, there is now a whole discussion on, I don't know if you can see that, on the types of bins that could work. <laughs> for ballot bins that schools could buy and um, so I'm going I will share those as part of this because I think that looks really useful um, and just just quickly about Strava was it easy yeah. to use do you think I can see it working for a school transport campaign do you think schools could use it so Strava itself as an app is free for anyone to use but there was a cost involved to host a challenge on the Strava page um so you know it wasn't it wasn't particularly cheap to do but in terms of using Strava as an app um it's free for anybody to download and log their activities and participate in challenges but to actually create a challenge and have it hosted on Strava um there is a cost involved okay thank you don't know if there were other I had one for you, Holly, as well, which was about your community fridges. This is actually a school I was in earlier, and they wanted to know if you'd ever worked with schools or would be interested in working in schools on community fridges. They say they often have surplus food, but they don't know what to do with it. They're also aware that students, they know that some of the students don't have an evening meal, so it feels that there's this issue around that. Um, Yes, I think like one of Hubbub's core values is collaboration. Um, we definitely have worked with schools. Um, if yeah, if you want to send me an email, which is holly at hubbub.org.uk, I can put that. Um, I, I can I can send that over to our community fridge network team. So they manage the network of about uh, I think it's it's either 350 or 400 fridges and hopefully we could find one near you or look at kind of that that this kind of collaboration can be set up because yeah uh food waste is is a massive problem and it's uh it, it's it, it yeah it, it's both an environmental and social issue um and i think that's why the community fridge network is so successful because it works to solve both Um, so, Cecily, you just frozen momentarily. Are you okay? Yes, I am. I am here now. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was just going to say about that as well, either to either of you, but maybe to Holly as well. Is do you think the carrot and stick is needed? Um, I'm happy to jump in on this one, Jess. It, I don't know. I feel, uh, my uh. I guess from a behaviour change perspective, I don't know of any examples where you've managed to change someone's behaviour by shaming them or shouting at them or otherwise kind of making them feel bad. Um, but at the same time, by stick, there are incentives like, you know, uh, like the, the plastic bag tax um, that is made you know the shift away from plastic bags uh, like at an incredible rate so I think there's definitely room for both um, I kind of think that for Hubbub we definitely stick positive just because there are so many organizations out there that uh, are doing great work with the climate but climate crisis but also that when you deal innately with the issues that are global it can feel overwhelming, it can feel stressful, it can kind of feel outside of your control. So we try and break it down into something that's tangible and positive, because um, otherwise it can deter action. So we try and stick with that as our kind of core concept, because otherwise it can turn people off, um, especially that kind of mainstream hump of people who are in that, like, I'm concerned, but I don't have time. I think, yeah. There, there's space for the financial stick with government policies um but for us yeah we stick we 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 go positive and i think a good example of that is that when we were trialing our campaign in uh 
Bournemouth, Christchurch and Poole, Dorset and Poole. Very sorry for those, <laughs> that tri bar I've forgotten. Um, we ran a campaign that was really positive, like, you know, had the fun bins, trying to be engaging, did all, did all, everything positively. And at the same time, actually, um, another campaign was launched that was very much like, if you, I think it was like, don't be trashy. And it was very much, you know, finger pointing, uh, kind of shaming people who did drop litter. And the measurement and evaluation that we used, which was um, uh, a AI algorithm that's used to count litter, you filmed by drones. So the drones go along the beach, they go along the streets, they capture the footage that's fed into an AI that identifies all of the litter um, dropped around these things. And it does so, it can, it can pick up cigarette butts on a beach, it's incredible. Basically, it found that the positive engagement was much, much more successful. We decreased litter and actually the other campaign increased litter. Um, so I think, yeah, there's definitely, <laughs> the, the stick is useful, but I think it can be, it, it can backfire. That was a really long explanation. But a really interesting one. Um, and I think that's a really good point. Um, there are no more questions on the chat. Does anyone just give anyone, anyone a minute to answer? I think we're about at time as well. Um, I don't think any more. I just wanted to say thank you both to Holly and Jess. That's been really useful um, and insightful. I've learned a lot. Um, I know there's lots of positive feedback coming on from the chat as well. And like I we said, um, we will be sharing these videos because I know a lot of students and schools wanted to watch them in their own time. So thank you ever so much. Brilliant. Yes, thanks from ICN. And yeah, great to have everybody involved uh, here today, but some amazing things. And and yeah, we'll we'll post them and uh, look forward to loads of positive campaigns coming out of this. So thank you very much indeed.